Casey's on the move. He's got work to do. He's been busy. We got straight lines in the sky. Oh! There's a few over there, and here's another one. He's got a job to do. It's catching them in the action. In the act. We got a morning mood over here. Ugh. Excuse me. That's uh, supposed to be the moon. I just don't know anymore, you know. All right. Oh. Have a seat, everybody. This is chemtrailing at its finest. You can see here that uh, he's done this line, <coughs> this line here, already sort of hazed and then there's this one, there's two over there, and then there's this one, this one. I'm going to go with, that looks like about six or seven. This one is beautiful, though, I mean, like, as far as chemtrails go, I mean, look at this. This is just a crisp, clear, brand new, fresh chemtrail. And what's going to happen is, see, we're catching them while they're doing it in the morning. Oh. I think today was just meant to be, folks. Eight days till my birthday. October 18th. 2011, 8 o'clock in the morning, and I think today was meant to be, because look what the skies have offered us. Another chemtrail plane going along the same pattern. We've seen this one before. He goes straight up, but... Anyway, we'll, we'll follow that. So as you can see here, from this chemtrail, uh, it... It, it begins to fan out, right? And what you end up with is this haze, right? So we're sort of seeing them in the act. And uh, it's not become this haze yet over your skies over here because it's just fanning out. And if you watch it long enough, it'll become that haze. So you can see there it's working on it. Oh. The best for me is when you see uh, a commercial plane or a private plane go by and not leave any anything behind. And then you see these planes leaving these clear lines in the sky. Yeah, but they're busy. Looks like this one's going straight up. Uh. I hear a plane, maybe we'll actually see a plane going across the sky, not leaving any sort of chemtrail. Way over there in the distance, there's a chemtrail. Uh, it's, I can see it with my bare eyes, it's running behind these clouds in a straight line. And this one is sort of already fanning out, as you can see. He's still going, that one. Yeah. At these rates of fuel and oil, I don't know what I was thinking even last time when I suggested that, oh, maybe they're dumping their excess fuel or dumping oil. Like, have you seen how much oil and gas costs? Do you think that they're just going to be dumping that? And then on top of 
major city centers. No, they're aerosol spraying us like we're cockroaches. And I'm like that one defiant cockroach getting my camera out and filming my Geo Elite Masters and filming them aerosol spray me and saying, hey, hey, I'll be here long after you were here. This fridge is mine. These walls are mine. I don't think humanity is like cockroaches, but... So... If you follow this guy long enough, he's probably going to go clear across the sky. Imagine. And then we'll wind up with... You can see what he's doing. I mean, he's not this one. That one. So he's probably started over there, or just crisscross. For those of you who think it was, is a flight path, who are still uh, living in La La Land, if it was a flight path, then they'd be crisscrossing over each other and not, you know, do a line, move back, a football field, do another line. Mm. Pardon me. If I had a better camera, I could zoom in and we could get the uh, details off that plane. From what I've seen uh, and what I've heard, these planes are flying around uh, unmarked and unnumbered, and their transponders are off. There's a video online of a FedEx plane that runs, obviously, a lot every night, going back and forth and back and forth. and. Uh, They've flown almost into them, they've flown over them, and under them. So, are they remote controlled planes? Are they drones? Are they...